was good y'all rich salsa back in the building and i'm bringing y'all another banger today man so i got a very special build in store for y'all i got the pure paint defender but i'm bringing y'all three different versions as y'all can see but the thing about this paint defender as you can see we got it under the shooting guard position which means that we are actually going to be able to get pro dribble moves on this build y'all so that is something that you have to consider when it comes to making this build it is not a normal lockdown so that is going to be really cool if you end up making this build and grinding it out to 99 and the thing about it is that you only have to get this build to a 96 overall to get those pro dribble moves so before we get into the making i just want to say thank y'all so much to the rich gang as well as anybody coming through for the very first time but man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new and be sure to turn on post notice so y'all catch me in tomorrow's banger as well. Now let's go ahead and get into the making of this paint defender. What you want to go ahead and do is put it under the shooting guard position. From here, there are a couple different options that you can go with when it comes to the height, weight, and wingspan. But in my opinion, I'm going to be going with 6'7". I feel like that is a perfect height, not too small or not too big as well. Then when it comes to the weight, I'm going to be going with 209 just to hold my own and then with the wingspan i'm going to be going with a 7-4 now let's go ahead and get into these stats so what you want to go ahead and do when it comes to the finishing put both your driving layup as well as your driving dunk all the way up to a 94 then when it comes to the post control or the standy dunk you have the option of choosing either two of these categories personally i'm going to go with the post control i'm going to put it up to an 80 and that's going to give me 15 finishing badges now let's go ahead and get into the shooting when it comes to the mid-range as well as our three-pointer we have to put both of these at an 82 if you go anything higher you're going to change up the build name so do not do that then when it comes to the free throw you can max it out or go ahead and put it to 94 and that's going to give us 14 on the shooting now let's go ahead and get into the playmaking we're going to go ahead and put our pass accuracy to a 69 when it comes to the ball handle put this at 79 and then from here we're going to max out our speed with ball which is going to be really good in the long run and that's going to give us nine badges on the playmaking side which makes it really clutch now let's go ahead and get into the defense so what you want to go ahead and do here is max out your interior to an 82 put your perimeter to a 67 then when it comes to the steal and the block we're going to max both of these out that's going to give us 20 badges on the defense then from here you could go ahead and put your defensive rebound up to a 59 that's going to bring it up on your offensive side to a 34 for 24 defensive badges and then when it comes to the physicals it's going to be looking really nice we're going to be able to max out our speed acceleration strength and then also our vertical then when it comes to the stamina it really comes down to what you want to go with but i'm going to go ahead and put it to at least a 60 and as you can see we go up to a 64 and this is only the first version of this build now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the second version of this build and in my opinion it will i feel like it's going to be a little bit more risky because you are taking a hit to your physicals but again if you don't care about that then this build is probably the right option for you so let's go ahead and change a couple things right here as you can see i'm going to go ahead and lower my vertical as well as my stamina same thing with my free throw and then i'm going to go ahead and put a couple extra badges into my playmaking side that's going to give me 10 on the playmaking side of my badges as well so that's going to be really nice we still maintain essentially the same setup we only move one from the shooting to the playmaking but we do take a minor hit in other areas it really comes down to what you want to do but honestly i feel like this is a really good setup as well now for the third version of this build what i'm going to go ahead and do is drop down my playmaking side to where i get six badges and then from here we're going to be able to get the same amount of shooting badges that we originally had and also on top of that we're actually going to be able to get two extra defensive badges so i like this version of the build because of the bad setup the fact that we get more on the defense in my opinion makes this build just so much more better and we still maintain those pro dribble moves it just comes down to how comfortable you are with your playmaking side of the badges now let's go ahead and check out the takeovers that we get as you can see for this this version we are going to get the slashing we also do unlock the shot creating then of course we do get the sharp shooting and last but not least we do get the rim protecting so whatever version of this build you make you will unlock different takeovers it just comes down to which one you like the most so right now go ahead and comment down below which version you're going to be making one two or three i want to know which one y'all like more but for the takeovers that 
I would pick first definitely would be finishing moves. Going to be a really easy takeover to get. Second, I highly would consider one of the offensive, but honestly, with this build, the defense is going to make it so much better. It's really coming down to your play style, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that option up to y'all. But as y'all can see, we have made the pure paint defender and we still are able to maintain those pro dribble moves once we grind this build out so let's go ahead and take a quick look at some of the main stats so as y'all can see with the physicals we are actually getting a plus eight then when it comes to the defense for the interior we are pretty much going to be in the 90s same thing with the perimeter if you add boost and run with the right teammates on the right badges steel and the block with boost will both be 99 ball handle is going to be above 80 then when it comes to the shooting side of things our shooting is definitely going to hit the 90s once you grind this build out to 99 and get that gym rat badge and then on top of all that we still get all of the contact dunks y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and say right now i'm gonna break every single build in this game breaking it down to show y'all that you can get every single animation out of every build if you make it right out of the right position so when it comes to the playmaking side of the badges what i'm gonna go ahead and do is put on quick first step on gold from here you could go with stop and go or you could go with handles for days it really comes down to your preference and what you like i'm gonna go ahead and get to the next set of badges which is gonna be the shooting so we got 14 to work with right here First, I'm going to go ahead and put on Hot Zone Hunter, another badge that I really like. One that's going to boost all of our shooting percentages is definitely going to be Catch and Shoot, y'all. You need to have this badge on even if you are one that does like to dribble and then shoot off of that. This is going to come in handy, especially when you need to get a quick shot off. Another badge that I'm going to add on is going to be Bronze Clutch Shooter. That is definitely going to help us out. From there, Green Machine is only going to help you green consistently. So that is another badge that I would consider just to keep on bronze. And then the rest of the way, it's completely up to y'all. For me, I like to throw on Corner Specialist. You can even put on Hot Shot or even Deep Threes. It comes down to your preference. I'm going to go ahead and put on Blinders on Silver. Now let's go ahead and get into the next set of badges, which is going to be the finishing. So I'm going to go ahead and be real the best badges to run for any build that can get these badges for the finishing side of things are going to be posterizer heat seeker or highlight film but with my preference i like heat seeker then from there you could go ahead and put on lob city finisher on either bronze or hall of fame or anything in between it comes down to what you like then from there you definitely want to put on slithery finisher that's going to throw everything in together and also silver acrobat is going to open up your arsenal a little bit more just so you could be a little bit more shifty when it comes to the finishing side of things and that's the setup that i normally go with especially on my main build and let's go ahead and get into the defense we got a lot of badges that we're going to be able to work with here 26 so definitely you can go about this how you like but the best badge setup to possibly go with for this build is going to be clamps on gold from there go ahead and put on chase down artists on bronze as well as hall of fame rim protector with that hall of fame rim protector badge it would only make sense to put on hall of fame intimidator so go ahead and do so as well the rest of the way are a couple different badges that i like to run personally i'm going to go ahead and put on interceptor on bronze you could put on ankle braces on silver or hall of fame it comes down to what you like and how you see this badge fit then when it comes to blocks i'm going to go ahead and put this on bronze just for animation purposes i really like pickpocket i feel like a lot of people sleep on it personally i do use it on my main build and it works out and the same thing goes with clutch defender this badge is really slept on heart crusher is one that is definitely going to help out you but also your teammates the last one i'm going to go with is going to be pogo stick and that's the setup we're going with 15 14 6 and 26 thank y'all so much for watching this entire video through i really appreciate y'all shout out to the rich gang and anybody coming through just know i got y'all with another banger tomorrow man but y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new to the rich gang as well as any new supporters. Be sure to run up those likes. I would appreciate it. It helps me out so much. Go ahead and share this banger with your family and friends. And last but not least, don't forget to turn on post notice so y'all can see when I upload every single day. Man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.